Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about solving quadratic inequalities. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now this is already part 3 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we actually solve for number 1. And then the part 2, we actually solve for number 2. So if you want to learn more about this part 1 class and part 2, I will just put the link on the description down below. For this number 3 class, we'll be answering x squared plus 6x is less than or equal to negative 5. Once again, this will be the quadratic inequality symbols. We have greater than, we have less than, we have greater than or equal, we have less than or equal for the included, we have greater than or equal, we have less than or equal, we use a closed circle and then brackets. For not included, we have greater than, less than, we use an open circle and then parentheses. And then for infinity, you always use parentheses. Once again, class, this is very important class in making solution sets. Before you solve quadratic inequalities class, you need to master on how to make solution sets. So if you want to learn more on how to make solution sets, I will just put the link on the description down below. Feel free to see the video class. All right, so let's start answering number three. So once again, class, first thing to do, you check first the quadratic inequality if it's arranged. So it's not arranged, so we need to arrange this one class. So copy x squared, and then copy plus 6x. You transpose negative 5 from right to left. Once again, once you transfer, you change the sign. This is negative 5. It will be positive 5. Simply copy the quadratic inequality symbol. So less than or equal than 0. Alright, so once it is arranged, you factor this out. You find two numbers that when you multiply the two numbers, you will get positive 5. When you combine, you will get positive 6. So for 5, of course, there would be positive 1 and then positive 5, right? Because if we multiply 1 times 5, the answer is 5. If we combine 1 plus 5, the answer is 6. Therefore, class the factors, there will be positive 1 and then positive 5. I'm sure, class, you have your factoring before solving quadratic inequalities. So this will be x plus 1. And then x plus 5. It's less than or equal to 0. Alright, and the next step class, you equate this one into 0 for us to locate the critical points. So this will be x plus 1, quantity x plus 1, and then quantity x plus 5 equals 0. So why do we need to equate this one into 0? For us to locate the critical points because we will be using the x values on the number line. So this will be x plus 1 equals 0, the other one x plus 5 equals 0. So to get the value of x, simply transpose 1 from left to right. So this is positive 1, it will be negative 1. The other one, transpose 5 from left to right. This is positive 5, it will be negative 5. So our critical points, there would be negative 1 and then negative 5. So we need to draw a number line. So draw a number line. Alright, of course, negative 5 is before negative 1. So, negative 1 is here, and then negative 5. Because in number line, plus if you still remember, once again, this is 0, then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and then negative 5. Alright, so therefore, negative 5 is before negative 1. So, negative 5 is here, and then negative 1. Now, since we have less than or equal, once again, if you have less than or equal, you use a closed circle. So, we will be using a closed circle. Once again, plus, if you have less than or equal or greater than or equal, always use a closed circle. So, this is a closed circle aligned to negative 5. And then, closed circle aligned to negative 1. Do not forget about, about that one, plus. If you have greater than or equal, less than or equal, always use a closed circle. If you only have greater than and then less than, use open circle. Now, since we have less than or equal, that's why we use a closed circle. Alright, and then we will be checking this region, this region, and this region. Alright, so let's check. So this region plus, you can select any number after negative 5. You can have negative 6, negative 7. So let's have negative 6. If it's true, therefore all of the numbers will be all true. So let's check using these factors. So x plus 1 and then x plus 5 is less than or equal to 0. So our x is negative 6. Simply substitute the value of x which is negative 6. 
So negative 6 plus 1, x is negative 6, so negative 6 plus 5 is less than or equal to 0. So negative 6 plus 1, if the signs are not the same, subtract and then copy the sign of the larger number. So 6 minus 1, that's 5. Now 6 is greater than 1, we copy the sign. Negative 5, and then negative 6 plus 5, unlike sign, subtract 6 minus 5 is 1. 6 is greater than 5, we copy the sign. Negative 1 is less than or equal to 0. Alright, so once again, negative 6 plus 1, that's negative 5. Negative, negative 6 plus 5, that's negative 1. And then you multiply, negative times negative is positive. 5 times 1 is 5. Is less than or equal to 0. Now, is 5 less than or equal to 0? Nope. 5 is not less than. And 5 is not equal to 0. So, therefore, our answer is false. So, this is x. This is false because 5 is greater than 0. And 5 is not equal to 0 plus. So, therefore, our answer is false. Alright, so this is false. So, let's have this one, this region. So, you can select any number between negative 5 and negative 1. So, you can have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. Okay, negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2. So, you select plus. It depends on you. Let's have negative 3. So, let's have negative 3. Alright, so x plus 1 and then x plus 5 is less than or equal to 0. So, our x is negative 3. Once again, in between negative 5 and negative 1. So, you can have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. So, we'll be selecting negative 3. Simply substitute negative 3 from this equation. So, negative 3 plus 1. Our x is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 5 is less than or equal to 0. So, negative 3 plus 1. Unlike sign, subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 is greater than 1. We have negative 2. Copy the sign test. Once again, subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. That's why you have negative 2. If the signs are not the same. So, unlike signs, negative 3 combined with positive 5. So, unlike signs, subtract 5 minus 3 is 2. Now, 5 is greater than 3. We copy the sign. Positive 2. Less than or equal to 0. Alright, and then you multiply. So, negative 2 times 2. That's negative 4. Once again, that's negative times positive is negative. 2 times 2 is 4. If you're multiplying unlike signs, it's always negative. So, negative 2 times 2, negative 4, less than or equal to 0. Is negative 4 less than 0? Less than or equal to 0? Yep, that's true because negative 4 is less than 0. Negative 4 is less than 0, so therefore, this is true. Alright, so this is true. And last one. So, after negative 1, you can have 0, 1, 2, 3. So, we can select 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. It depends on your class. Which do you prefer? So, therefore, we'll be selecting after negative 1, we will be selecting 0. So, let's have 0. So, our x is 0. So, 0 plus 1. Our x is 0. So, 0 plus 5 is less than or equal to 0. So, 0 plus 1, that's 1. 0 plus 5, that's 5. Is less than or equal to 0. So, 1 times 5, what's the answer, class? 1 times 5, that's 5, is less than or equal to 0. Is 5 less than or equal to 0? Nope, 5 is not less than or it's not equal to 0. So, our answer is false. So, this is x. And this will be false. Alright, so once again, class, we only select those regions says true. So, therefore, we will be selecting this particular region. So, this is false. We will be erasing this one because this is false. This is false. So, we will be erasing this one. Alright. So, therefore, we will be selecting this region. So, this region right here, class. We will be selecting this region which says true. Alright. And then, you make your solution set and then your O set, class. Simple as that, class. Alright, so let's make our solution set. So for interval notation class, I'm sure class very easy for the interval notation. So for the interval notation, once again, we select a while ago, negative 6 and then negative 3 and then 0. So we select negative 6, negative 3 and then 0. So for the interval notation, to make the solution set, so once again, left to right. So we have negative 5. Once again, if this is a closed circle, we use brackets. 
So, bracket, then negative 5, comma. So, bracket, negative 5, comma, then negative 1. We have a closed circle, we use bracket. That's it, class. That's the answer for interval notation. Very easy, right, for the interval notation. Now, in set builder notation class, you can write this one as the set of all x. Set of all x such that x will be greater than or equal to negative 5. And then x will be less than or equal to negative 1. Question, why is that, sir? Because if x is greater than negative 5, of course, greater than negative 5, we know that would be negative 4. Once again, if this is negative 5, greater than negative 5, that would be negative 4, negative 3. Going to the right plus, those will be greater than if it's negative. So, x will be greater than negative 5 or equal to negative 5. And then, x will be less than or equal to negative 1. What are those less than or equal to negative 1? Of course, that would be negative 2, less than negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. So, this will be your solution set plus for set builder notation. So, the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and then x is less than or equal to negative 1 but once again class it will be complicated class for the set builder notation that's why class it's very easy class for interval notation so you need to master class in writing interval notation either way class you can have the solution this is acceptable or you can have the solution for me class it's better to use interval notation very easy class for interval notation Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.